So I came to this entire area by accident. It was supposed to be for the finger ruin, ruins, whatever they are. And I ended up here somehow. And I find this. I abandon here my love. For the most part, let me see, it was all flesh, heart, just physical things like body and blood, Christ-like, that sort of thing. But let me see this. I abandon here my love. Like, and I'm like, what? Here, of all places? Yeah, I'll get to that a little later. So then I find this guy here this ghost and what's to say here yeah sure yeah uh -huh. under yeah uh -huh. we all know what that is So it's kind of obvious what he's saying here. How can you save other people when you couldn't even save your own love? He abandoned his love. So I started thinking that Mikola may very well be an antichrist. So Ansbach may be right about him, about Mikola being a monster. An Antichrist. So as soon as I said Antichrist, I was like, well, Antichrist. Well, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -uh. So I wake up these assholes. Well, they're not too difficult at this point because my skidoo tree is like through the roof. But anyway, I started thinking of Christ himself. Because I was raised Greek Orthodox, which is Christian. It's it's like the old like Eastern Orthodoxy is the oldest Christian denomination, along with Catholicism. So whatever it is, kind of Christian you are, we all know what Christ Himself had given up: His body, flesh, to basically be the Holy Spirit. If if I got that correct, I don't know. But what I do know is that while he did give up his body and blood and all, all the, and his own spirit is with God, he never gave up his love. He never did that. No matter what he gave up, he never abandoned his love to anyone or anything. Not to Trina, not Satan, not anyone. Yeah, I know. He never ever gave up his love. He never did this. Because if he did, then there's absolutely no way he would be anywhere near the cross. Whatever it was he died for, whether it's as a, a symbol of rebellion, of martyrdom, to galvanize followers against the Romans, to save the world from sins, whatever. If he had abandoned his love, he would never have died on the cross, and you wouldn't be saving anyone for any reason. Because sacrifice requires love and courage. If either one of them is missing, you're not making any real sacrifice. And that's it. That's all I have to say about that. And this isn't looking good for Mikola. Well, well, I got a little curious about Trina. And if you drink the nectar enough and leave and come back and die enough, she will eventually tell you to don't make Mikola into a god. Ha <laughs> ha. It's like, leave the poor thing alone, whatever that is. So yeah, we heard the voice of Trina, all right. And that sees that even she's not four. Um, well, how are you doing? Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, thank you not to lie to me. I am the chosen.
Ivan, not you. Only I can doze off in the sea of Citrina. Why would you hear her voice when I cannot? Well, uh, she said <laughs> these cruel untruths to me again. I, I won't be held responsible. No. Do it. Please. Enough. I cannot believe your cheek. And I will stand for it no longer. Oh, we got to fight. I will never forgive nah. you. Nah. Yeah, you jealous. You jelly of what exactly? She doesn't want Mikola to be a god. For whatever reason. I don't know why. That's Jink. We do a Jinky. Let's see if she says it again. Nom nom. Let's see what happens. It's pretty though. It's got Nikki written all over it. Let's see. She says anything else. But yeah, she says leave kind of, like don't let Mikola become a god. Don't hate the word to be Mikola's prison. A cage divinity is beyond saving. Uh huh. A cage divin, especially when he. Never forgive you. Yeah, get over it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Okay, shouldn't be too difficult though. Because I got my trusty thingy with me. See, one of my favorite. Oh no, you don't. Oh, we're not gonna- oh! Well, he's a perfume boy. So, but it's not gonna matter, because he did. Ah. Bye, St. Trina smile, huh? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, someone is possessive. I didn't do any good earlier. So, the thing is, with Mikola giving up his love, that's likely what would make him a bit caged and pretty much useless. Might as well be another monster. Because that's apparently what Mikola has become. Let me get my, uh, pfft. See what we got here. Om nom. I get this all this. Come on, that's Nikki in there. You know that. Just memorizing the colors. Okay. Oh. Anything else? You must kill me. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. Anything else? Grant him forgiveness. Well, that is something Christ would do. Only God. <laughs> oh. No good to anyone. Beginning to end. Weak as a kitten. And thick as two planks. I suppose dying in disgrace is fitting. In a way. <sighs> Tell me. Please. Assuming you spoke the truth back then. What did Citrina tell you? Wretched, wretched soul. A nightmare could plague me. Such a thing could have 
possibly be. Could it? Strina. In my everlasting slumber. Strina. Let me hear your voice in my everlasting slumber. Hey, you'll be hearing it soon enough. But yes, and Amnel has no reason to lie to you. He doesn't. That's uh, Nom Nom. Let's see what else we got. How many Om Noms do we have to do here? So grant Mikola forgiveness. Looks like Tholier could use some too. Nam. <sighs> Michael, Michael. Okay. Grant him forgiveness. So that looks to be the last thing she'll say then, okay. Oh boy, no wonder Tholier doesn't believe it. Poor guy. Yeah, but that thing looks like this is pretty much the end. Oh, he's not here anymore, is he? Is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, and then... Ah, I think she said enough. I don't think she's gonna say anything more. It's just the same thing. You must kill Mikola, grant him forgiveness, and this poor guy here is still dying. About to go night night. And that's about. I guess that's about it. Yeah. Grant Mikola forgiveness, huh? We'll have to see. This is a pretty area, though. And I am done for now.